trial begins for a former Valley doctor accused of misdiagnosing patients for nearly two decades. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. Dr. Jorge Zamora Casada is accused of diagnosing Valley patients with chronic diseases for the sole purpose of allegedly making money off insurance companies. Prosecutors claiming the own doctor's employees were given quotas as to how many fraudulent procedures had to be submitted a month. Local 23's Joanna Guzman joins us with more details. Joanna? 18 years of misdiagnosing and overtreating patients in the Valley for financial gain. That is what prosecutors are accusing Dr. Jorge Zamora Quesada of doing. Quesada and his wife, Macy Zamora, along with their two employees, Felix Ramos and Estela Natera, allegedly defrauded insurance companies in nearly a quarter of a billion dollars. During opening statements, prosecutors claimed when looking for that evidence, patients' files were stored away in an old barn far away from here where those files were exposed to rain and rats to destroy. Prosecutors adding when insurance companies asked for evidence of procedures, Quesada would allegedly tell his employees to submit x-rays from other patients who were actually sick. Prosecutors highlighted Quesada would diagnose patients with arthritis problems as it requires lifelong care, forcing patients to come back and see him. The state added Quesada would perform injections, x-rays, chemotherapy, and other painful care, usually on the patient's first visit to his office. Prosecutors went on claiming Quesada used the money from insurances to buy rental properties, which generated money back to him. That is where prosecutors say the money laundering charge he faces comes from. Defense attorney claims Quesada has already been investigated three times in the past 18 years for similar allegations, but has been cleared, assuring this time won't be different. The jury heard from the first witness today, the mother of a 13-year-old boy who Quesada allegedly diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. The boy's mother claims her son had to be removed from public school as he couldn't handle the pain coming from Quesada's treatment, which only made him feel worse. More witnesses are expected to take the stand, including alleged victims, former employees, and doctors who took over Quesada's patients. And although the group is having a joint trial, they will be tried separately. In McAllen, I'm Joanna Guzman, Local 23 News. All right, Joanna, thank you. This is a case we'll follow continuously. The trial is expected to last up to a month.